Well, refrigerators are also heat engines contrary to what it does, that is cooling, and they actually operate in the reverse of what a typical heat engine would operate. So, while a heat engine sucks heat from a hot reservoir and exhausts it in a cold reservoir, a refrigerator does just the opposite. It takes heat from a cold reservoir like inside of a refrigerator and expels it to a hotter place, say the air in the room where the refrigerator may be placed. And while a heat engine delivers mechanical work, the refrigerator requires mechanical work to be input to make the reverse flow of heat happen that is from cold place to a hot place. So you can see that refrigerators are nothing but Carnot engine run in reverse and therefore they are also termed the Carnot refrigerator. So you need to consider QC positive for a refrigerator and QH and W would be negative. Now for a cyclical process, QH plus QC is equal to W. So if we put the values of various terms along with the correct signs, what we get is minus QH plus QC is equal to minus W or QC plus W is equal to QH. And needless to say, you'll need to put the absolute values of W and QH in this equation. So you can see from this equation that the heat QH leaving the working substance expelled out to the hot reservoir is more than the heat taken from the cold reservoir. You may also like to note that if we take absolute values, then this equation is valid for both refrigerators and heat engines. So it goes without saying that you would want to expel as much heat QC from the refrigerator to keep it cool and at the same time do least amount of work W which indirectly is the electricity you are consuming and therefore a cost. So we can say that the ratio QC upon W should be as high as possible for refrigerators and this ratio is called the coefficient of performance of refrigerator and denoted by the symbol K or K is equal to absolute value of QC upon absolute value of W which is equal to QC divided by QH minus QC. So with the theory we've just understood behind the working of a refrigerator, let us also get a sense of how a real refrigerator operates. So there are basically five components in a refrigerator that make the refrigerator do what it does. Number one is the expansion device. Two is the evaporator coil. Number three is a compressor. Number four are condenser coils. And then you have a refrigerant, which is a liquid that enters the expansion device. And as it passes through it, experiences a drop in pressure that makes the refrigerant cool. Rather, I should say cooler than the stuff inside the fridge. And as it moves around in the evaporator coil, it picks heat QC from inside and in the process vaporizes partially. Now the compressor then compresses the refrigerant with the help of a motor that does work W on the refrigerant and raises the pressure and temperature and makes it hotter than the surroundings. This then flows into the condenser coil that are at the back of the fridge and radiates heat QH into the atmosphere and as it does, it cools back partially into liquid and once again enters the expansion device to repeat the cycle. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for many more interesting videos.